So the actual manufacturing process isn't remarkably quicker than traditional vaccine manufacturing. What is quicker is the parts that come before you can start manufacturing and the mm -hmm. parts that come after. So if you look at traditional lab-based influenza vaccine manufacturing, um, there's two or three things that you need to do before you even start manufacturing. Right? First thing you need to do is get an egg. And that might sound very straightforward, but the eggs that are used in vaccine manufacturing aren't very straightforward. They are eggs that have been um, laid by uh, birds that have been controlled and tested in a certain way, so these birds can't have other diseases or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and clearly the time it takes to plan the supply of these eggs is something that happens 18 to 24 months before production actually starts, because the bird needs to grow <laughs> and you know, get to the point where it can actually produce eggs. So clearly there's a very long supply chain that happens before you can actually start making egg based influenza of vaccine, which for seasonal manufacturing where you've got a very routine business is relatively easy to deal with. Clearly in the event of a, an emergency response it's not very good at all because you can't very quickly flex your manufacturing. So that's one thing that um, differs remarkably with the cell based manufacturing. The, um, the other part um, about egg-based manufacturing is the eggs are um, the way that we make vaccines on eggs. We actually put the virus into an egg, into an embryonated egg, and the virus grows in the, in the egg. Now that process is what we call open, as in the operator comes into direct contact with the virus and with the um, egg, right? Just because they have to handle them. Now, in a that means that we can't when you working with highly pathogenic viruses, that clearly puts a whole series of restrictions on what you can actually do, right? Because you don't want to be putting your staff at any risk, and so the level of controls and safety checks that they need to be before you can even start manufacturing with eggs is extremely burdensome. In, in a manufacturing process like we have here, everything's completely closed, and it's behind stainless steel, and there's 101 sort of safety features which protect the operator and the environment from the manufacturing process and therefore we can work with highly pathogenic viruses and you know with no risk to, to the outside and no risk to our operators. So the, the individual people never 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 handle the virus? Never touch it. No. Never. So th that's a big difference with right. cell-based manufacturing. Now the actual manufacturing process itself is, is very much the same. So with an egg-based um, process as I said you get an embryonated egg, um, you make a hole in the top, you put the virus in there, you put it in an incubator the virus propagates in the embryonic cells in the egg, and then after three days, you take the egg out of the incubator, chill the egg down to kill the embryo, and then you remove from the egg the allantoic fluid which exists around the embryo. That allantoic fluid contains the influenza virus, so a, a quantity of live influenza virus. And then we do a whole series of steps. First, we inactivate the virus with a chemical right, to stop it being infectious. And then we purify the virus by a series of um, purification steps. So take away all of the egg proteins and all that fluid. Finally, what we do is we break the virus up into pieces. And we do that because a whole virus fragment is, is quite reactogenic. If you injected it into your body, it would provoke fever, it would provoke a, a response, you know, like if you were infected with most. Um, what we do is we break the virus apart and we take out what we call the nucleic proteins in the middle. Um, and we leave just the surface proteins um, remaining in, in, in the solution. And what that does is it um, contains all the, the proteins that you need to have in the immune response, but without any of the reactogenic effects that a whole virus So you basically with. disable it in a sense? Yeah, yeah, effectively. And that breaking apart is um, we call splitting, and, and the viral fragments that we call the vaccine are called subunits, and these are particular protein sequences which um, contain the antigenic sequences that provide the immune response. So that's how you do it on eggs. In, in cell culture, it's incredibly, it's the same sort of thing, but this time instead of growing the virus on embryonic um, egg cells, we're growing the virus on a mammalian cell culture. 